Happy Monday to you, Miss Abigail. Happy Monday! <laughs> we are back for real, for real this for time. For real, for real. Is that what you time. said in the last vlog? For real, for real. Until we try to come back in a couple more weeks. <laughs> no. Well, we do have something else going on. Yeah, but that's. We're not telling you about that yet. Yeah. Sorry, it, I'm making my happens. coffee back here. We don't want to jinx it. Yeah. What you making? My coffee. Yum. Has to make the coffee. Yum, 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 yum. Mm -hmm. What so do you guys? Are... You guys ready to get, go sniff some other states? <laughs> sniff some grass and dog peas on trees and. They're ready to go P O T T Y. Yeah, right now. Yes. There ain't no trees around here. Yeah, so we are picked up and on the road. Let's tell them about the load. Yeah, let's tell them. So we picked up here in Texas and where are we going? Washington State. Yay! We have not. When's the last time we were up in Washington? Uh, it's been a while. It's been a long time. Yep. So I'm excited. I yep. love going up to the um, Pacific Northwest. Yeah. It's. I'm kind of nervous right now because of all the protesting. Is it and, still bad up there? Yeah. Some something happened. Somebody didn't get charged with something. I think uh -huh. they were thought they were supposed to, and now they're protesting over it and. Uh, so I don't know. I've been saying I follow. Uh, there's some groups out there that are uh, for truckers uh, that other drivers warn other drivers about maybe potential bad areas to go into and what to watch out for and where riots are. And you can ask people, hey, how's this area and stuff like that. And I've been seeing people say, watch out for this area, that area, you know, so. Yikes. And how's the fires up there? I haven't um, even heard I, anything about that. Yeah, I haven't either. I, I think they're kind of fizzled out oh. for right now, yeah. maybe. We'll we don't see. We don't keep up with news <laughs> too much. No. Just but, with whatever Facebook groups we join and follow and yeah. we don't really interact with those too much. We just like to read. Yeah, get information. Get information and learn and maybe share something we may know about. or. Mm -hmm. Yeah, but this is a 2100 loaded miles. It's a whopping one piece at 146 pounds. Man, light ones. Light ones been starting back, out. Right? Yeah, yeah. Sure. And we got plenty of time to get up there, so we are driving 62 this time. Yeah, we are. We're but we're we're uh, going back to our slow driving. Slow poking and get that better fuel mileage. Yeah. <laughs> Not yeah. that we get bad fuel mileage. No, when we're, we usually get about 70. nine and a half when we're running 70 miles an hour, which ain't bad. Not but bad at all. When we're running 62, we're seeing upwards of 11 high tens, 11s. Yeah. So we are uh, doing our driver swap, and I'm taking over. I think I'm going to be stopping at TA Amarillo to fuel, and then hey, gonna, you're, you're going to be fueling. Yeah, I'm going to be fueling. I, I don't know where you'll have to let me know what to put in after that. Yeah. Where we're going to fuel after that? We got some stuff done this weekend while we were home. Not a lot, just some just little, the S bar fix and yeah. yeah. Don't quite need it yet, but I'm gonna do a video of uh, things I start doing to get ready for winter. You know, like greasing the locks and. I'm not ready got... for winter. I am. <laughs> I, am. I don't want to prepare for winter because I hate winter. I am. Ready I mean, I don't. For it. I, I, I can't. Well, I just don't like the cold. Yeah. That's what I don't like. Man. They've but. already had snow this year in Wyoming, and we're gonna be passing through Wyoming. I know it snowed the day after we left uh, Yellowstone. Yeah. It's, they got snow. And so. then the 80 got shut down because of uh, really? snow. I know some drivers they were posting on Facebook. Oh, I'm up here on the 80, uh, stuck for a day or two. <laughs> Yikes! Hopefully, I don't think we're gonna get in any further. <clears throat> um, heading up that way towards Washington. Yeah, I haven't even checked the weather, so might have to do that if you take <laughs> yeah, over. <laughs> what I saw, it didn't look like. Well, it, what but. we're doing is going up uh, 287 out of Texas or Dallas. We're going to be taking that all the way up into Denver, like through Amarillo up up to Denver. Then we go up to 25, split off, go the 80, and then up through Salt Lake and up to 84. And... You sure? We're not going the 40 to Albuquerque and up? No. Oh. No. <laughs> no. I don't know. That's why it looked like the route was going. That was a bad route. That's uh, why I do the routing. Yeah, he does that. It, it's more highway, and it's well, it's a more, hundred more miles to go this route than her route. 
yeah. what she had seen, but it's mostly interstate, so it just makes sense to do that. Yeah. A 400 miles, I mean. Yeah, and that 287 a, is a back interstate. It's a good road. Highway, yeah, that, good. yeah, that 287 from te uh, Texas, well, even up through Dallas, uh, yeah. going up that way, it's not bad to get yeah. a few towns, but yeah. well, once you get past uh, Amarillo, it's pretty good too. Oh yeah. Oh, yeah, absolutely. But. So, yeah, we're going to let these babies out. Jump out in my free trip. Get on the road. Take you along. See what we can see. I love the, the scenery up there. So, like, that's what I'm most excited yeah, about. Yeah, we should be able to get some pretty good stuff. Yes. All the nice rivers and trees. and. Oh, yeah. We'll be driving along the river in uh, Oregon on um, the 84. Is that the 84? I think we cut off before that because uh, we got to go yeah, further north. Right, we're going right. up near Tacoma. Yeah. That's right. So, That's not right. into Portland. No. So. But we'll be delivering this Wednesday, and then we have another load lined up, but you'll find out about that much later because yeah. that's not till next week next week <laughs> so we'll have the weekend off yeah we will up in the northwest yay <laughs> love it all right, all right let's I mean, go all right peace With the crafty truckers. <laughs> Late night with the crafty. <laughs> I like that. So like Delilah. <laughs> Everybody knows that. <laughs> right, right. Man, end of my shift. This one is I'm taking, taking over. over. Yep, I got it's a good turn. day of sleep today. Yeah. Even even though I slept last night, I got a good day of sleep today yeah, and man. ready to uh, knock out some miles. Yeah, my shift was pretty uneventful. We're actually in uh, Colorado now. We made it to Colorado. <sighs> we were, um, you're taking over a little bit early. That's little, about an hour and 20 minutes. But yeah. there, we're on like, uh, we're on the, is this still the 287? Yeah, the yeah we're on 287. 287. It's kind of a we back got, road. It's like 80 miles till we get to the I-70, mm -hmm. so. So we figured we'd just go ahead and swap <clears> here. Man, it is cold. It is, yeah, 40 something degrees out. Burr, I had to wear my jacket when I was <coughs> in uh, Amarillo. I just let the babies out while Jason was doing his pre-trip and I had to have a jacket on. He loves it though. I do, I'm short <laughs> flip-flops. I know. Short flip-flops. Oh my all gosh. All the time. Mm -mm, not me. Mm -mm. Yeah. That's and we were just complaining about being hot in uh, Phoenix and now I'm complaining about it being cold. <laughs> Can't ever win. I know. Well, uh, whatever. How, how far we got to go total? 1,579 miles. I don't, I don't remember oh. in the last clip that we said how many the total it's miles like 22, were. 2250, I think, yeah. is total. So we've knocked out about 700. Yeah, yeah, not bad. Not bad. Yep. And we still got all day today or tomorrow, Tuesday, and then and then all night, Mon went Tuesday night. So yeah, <laughs> easy. Yeah. We'll deliver. Wednesday morning. Wednesday morning, and, we and yeah, that'll be it for the week for us. Yeah. I don't mind it. No. I, mean, I like lazy weeks sometimes. I know. Even though we just got off vacation. Even though we were just off for a month. <laughs> I don't yeah. know. Most people think we're like, we're as a lazy, uh, lazy uh, profession anyway, expediting. Yeah, Some yeah, people yeah. people think that. Yeah, yeah, there's a lot of people. <laughs> You guys ain't truckers, y'all are RVers. Yeah, hey, hey, ain't nothing wrong with that to get paid to see the country and right. enjoy it. Right, 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 right. That's the way I look at it. I We're mean, enjoying what we do. A lot of people get into trucking because they just want to run, 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 work their butts off and make money, and that's all they want to do. But that's not the only aspect to trucking, you know? Yeah. There's I mean, so many different aspects. I know, there you know? is. Like, yeah. maybe if you're single, I guess, you know, but like with us. When I was younger? Oh, yeah, that's probably what I would have done. You well, know, your last job, you worked your butt off, yeah. you know? Yeah. And, and 10 hour, 12 hour days a lot of times. And then doing deliveries at night, four or five hours every night. On and the weekends, on we when driver, other weekend, drivers yeah. didn't want to do them. Every weekend, and... seven days a week. She would work six, five and a half or six days a week a lot of times. And 
Yeah. We're we too old for that stuff. Yeah. We're, we're just trying <laughs> to enjoy life, right? <laughs> right? And get paid to do it. Right, hey, right, right. ain't nothing wrong with that. Yeah. That's, that's what, what the job says. means to, me, uh, to us, so, yeah. yeah. I want to enjoy it. You know, it's a fun job. It is. Yeah. I'm tired. And you make a little be... money, right? Yeah, of course. That's what I said. Get paid to do it. Why? Yeah. Get paid to do what you enjoy. She got even worse sleep than I did last night. I it, did. I don't know why. Yeah. Well, you were up till three, four in the morning uploading oh, videos. Oh, that's why. Yeah. Editing, <laughs> uploading. <laughs> Back to that again. Yeah. That's right. Yeah. I, yeah. I wanted to get the videos up for. You need to get in that that. Get in that groove again. Get, get in that groove of editing a little bit per day. Mm. That's the easiest part. When she does it that way, <sighs> yeah, it works. But then, like, right now, she wants to go to bed. She yeah, don't want to edit. Uh, so no. it's like, how do you maintain that? <laughs> uh, and that's why, I like, having this one run, then we have, we'll have four days off before our next run. Yeah. It'll give me time to edit and do those things, so. And I, I think we'll probably end up getting, like, an RV park somewhere. I, you know what? I looked by where we're going to be picking our next one up. There is a KOA, but it, when I looked yesterday they didn't have any openings so really they we might have to call and see yeah yeah, yeah. Just, but we'll see you'll we'll find see. out in the next vlog what we end up doing right yeah yeah but i'm tired i'm yeah. gonna go to bed yeah uh, well actually i'll probably sit for about 30 minutes or to an hour to wait to give tyson his medicine before i lay down yeah every it's, eight hours yeah one pill he gets every eight hours so that's three times a day two other pills he get once it's once a day so yeah. but that's okay he's he, worth it he's got another week until we got to start doing the liquid again right yeah yeah well yeah next week we'll have that's to the stuff he goes right. like this yeah next we'll week. get that on video it's pretty funny mm -hmm. <laughs> he don't like that. that he does not like it <laughs> and when the when we uh, the emergency vet gave him uh that liquid and a cough oh, he had syrup two. Yeah, he had two. for his coughing because he was coughing yeah. and uh, he didn't like that either. <laughs> yeah. Now he's got a real expensive drug we got him. It's, it's for, yeah, it's a pill it's for coughing. It's a pill coughing. for coughing. But it's yeah. only as needed. So as just needed, if he yeah, has bad coughing. But They said it would make him loopy. <laughs> like, yeah. Get them all messed up. <laughs> he hasn't had the coughing since we've had him on the medication. Yeah, so yeah. yeah, he's doing really good. All right, I've already done my pre-trip. It's time to it's start knocking good. out miles, and yeah. you go to bed. Quit lollygagging. Lollygagging. Where are you feeling? Uh, a Bridger, Fort Bridger. Wyoming. Wyoming. Okay. Looked at the weather. Weather's going to be good. So just cold. Just cold. Yeah. I like it. It's all right. Yeah. Nice I'll have change. the win window heater down on the feet, and then uh, window cracked. Ooh, so cold and air our blowing seat in. heat going. Uh, I've been having the seat heat going yeah, tonight yeah, while yeah, I was driving. Yeah. <laughs> I love the that. The heaters on these things work way better than the air conditioner too. Yeah. Like the, the air conditioner, all it does is cool off my butt crack. Yeah. Not even like. <laughs> my bottom <laughs> leg part it just it just like blows right up here yeah and just cools off my butt crack you can definitely feel the heat more than the, the heat than the is cooling, I the think. heat yeah. will burn you it does it gets warm if I you love put it. it on high it will burn it's, like I, you I, I had i had tweaked my back a couple months ago or something when i was driving i would turn the seat heat on to kind of because the warmth on it you know it just it would make it feel better and it helped it heal and um but there was times like I had it on high and I had to turn it down because it was like burning my legs. Yeah, I like it for my back, for my lower back. It yeah, feels nice. It does. But it, it does, does make your butt yeah. hot. Yeah. And you will sweat. You if you get too hot. <laughs> it's got a high, medium, low. Yeah. yeah. But yeah, it's all right. It's, all right. It. Quit rambling. That's it. Get going. Get Thank to work, driver. Tuesday. 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 From Wyoming. Yeah. <laughs> Man. Man. Oh. Man. Psych. Psych. Oh. <laughs>
<laughs> we are like 960 miles away now from not our bad. delivery. Not bad. If you knock out 600, I'll have like three left to get us dropped off tomorrow. Yeah, yeah we're uh, making good time. We're back to our 62, 63 and moseying and... Putting along, yeah, getting that good few mileage. I swear, it always feels so slow through Wyoming when we're doing that just because it's just so flat usually. I mean, Long there are some hills and, and stuff, yeah. but it's pretty yeah. nothing out here yeah oh wait oh wait oh last <laughs> night that new hours of service kicked in oh that's right yeah kind of tripped technically me. today the 29th well it kind of tripped me out because i had put on duty for pre-trip and then did my pre-trip and all that it took about 15 minutes and then uh i started going it like right when I started driving, I looked over and it says, you have eight hours remaining of drive time. And I'm like, wait a minute, I've been on duty 20 minutes. <laughs> what happened to that 20 minutes? Did I forget to put, did it not register that I put myself on? I'm like, what's going on? And so I checked it at my 30 minutes, researched it and figured out the whole new hours of service thing. Yeah. Kind of got a grasp on it. Um, yeah, I knew, I, we had gotten some email from like Oida and stuff and knew it was starting on the 29th. We uh, we had gotten nothing from Landstar, I'm surprised. I thought we would have got an email or something from them. Yeah. But um, yeah, so the new hours of service, it's basically the biggest changes are like for short haul people, the 30 minute break. Now it doesn't have to be just off duty. You can have on duty time. Also. Seven it, and three split instead of eight, two. Yeah. So you can split your sleep, sleep or birth and... Yeah, maybe we'll talk about it more once we've kind of delved deeper into it. Kind of learned it a little bit more. I just, yeah. whatever the Qualcomm tells me I can do, I do it. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> when it starts telling me you got 30 minutes remaining, I pull over and I stop driving. Yeah. 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 Yeah, what's cool though now is with the, the eight hours, because before, once you started your clock for your pre-trip, it started counting that eight hours. Now it doesn't do that. It's the eight hours is only of drive time. So that's kind of cool. Yeah, that's pretty cool. But yeah, I'm taking over. It's time for this guy to get him some rest. He has a tiring night. Yeah, yeah, I'm a little poop poopered. Pooped out. Yeah, yeah but that was a long one. One more shift and we'll be there. One one more shift for me and about a half a shift for you. And... Yeah. Oh, if you got any of you have been through the I-80 recently, there's like smoldering smoke oh yeah you were telling me about that yeah we seen it when we were coming back from uh vacation and heading back to texas we seen the actual flames though like all the flames off in the distance well we drove through it again this morning it's still smoldering Crazy. just covered with smoke that whole area it's like uh, just past exit 255, I think. Mm, I mean, it's super dry out here. Yeah, yeah. Man, but yeah, I'm gonna jump out, do my pre-trip, let the babies out already. Made my coffee, my go-go juice. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, you gonna let the dogs out? I don't want to go outside. I'll let them out because uh, you need to figure out where I need to put in because I'm gonna oh, be yeah. fueling at uh, TA and Fort Bridger. It's like 40 miles away. Yeah. I didn't have enough time to make he it. Wussed out. You know, he just wussed out. <laughs> <No>. <laughs> I only did 627 miles last yeah, night. Yeah, you don't do as many miles when you're doing 62, 63. Yeah, that's for sure. I, I've noticed you usually get about like so. I drove. 10 hours at 62 miles an hour and we got 622 miles so 62 yeah. 620 if we're driving 720 i usually get around or 720 <laughs> if we're driving 70 72 i usually get around 70 700 750 yeah. yeah yeah so yeah that's kind of funny how that works out <laughs> yeah but or i'm, I'm gonna, just so i've got to feel but i didn't feel all last week well, I helped, but I helped didn't have one. to do a whole feeling. I yeah. did feel in Amarillo last night. I'll be feeling here, and then you need to figure out where we're feeling next so I can put that in after I finish feeling at Fort Bridger. Sounds good. All right. All right. We'll catch up with you guys probably tomorrow. Tomorrow after we get delivered. After we deliver. Yeah. See what kind of trouble we're going to get into. <laughs>
Delivery done. Happy hump day. Happy hump day. <laughs> yes, hump delivery hump. done. Good job, driver. Good job. Now we got four or five days off. Four. Four. Well, well four and a today. half. Yeah. We got today because we delivered this morning. We did so. deliver this morning, and then we came to our rest area and just chilled and took a nap. Took a nap. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Of course, I pulled all nighter. So. Yeah. And then she didn't get much sleep because we we had to get up early and do our delivery and. Yeah. Yeah. We came 30 miles down the road and. Laid stop, it down. Stop that rest area. It's a nice yeah. little rest area here in uh, Washington. Yeah, yeah, it's all right. It smells like pee. <laughs> they all smell like pee. <laughs> pee and dog poop. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it is like, what time is it here? So it's 5 30 here. Uh, yeah, we got a few hours nap. I made us breakfast and then yeah, yeah laid down. And laid it down. And took a nap. Yeah, it's yeah, nice it to nice. do that sometimes. <laughs> yeah. We do have another load lined up out of here. We uh, intentionally did this, but it doesn't pick up till next Monday. Yeah. I was looking for something. Uh, so we delivered it up near Seattle, and then we're picking up down in Oregon. I was looking for stuff like maybe something Washington down to Portland or Oregon or something like that. But I called on a couple. Like I was looking on the load board, and... Um, like there was there was some loads but then like i was noticing that there was this one load out of this one city posted like four times by four different agents and it was all different prices like one agent had it paying pretty good the other agent had it paying just okay and i was like well that's kind of odd so i called on it because it was taking us down to oregon and uh, one guy said it was already covered, so I decided to call another agent, and then the next agent I got horrible English, like I, I couldn't understand them. So I don't know if these agencies are just like agents who bid on loads and post them out there, and that's what this load was. It was one load, but all these agents were seeing it and trying to rebroker it, and so weird. Yeah, it was kind of weird. I know I've seen a lot of Landstar drivers complaining about these agents who do this kind of thing. Most of the time they'll post it on the load board, but they don't even actually really have the load. Oh, so they post it and then if somebody calls, they call to see if it's they, available. Then they try to get it. Uh, and it's, yeah. it's so it's not like they actually have the load to give out. So I, I think that's kind of little wonky shady maybe a little mm. like we've told you before we don't <coughs> we don't do a lot with... off the load board no we do it like in these situations like you know say we have a, a four days between our next mm. load maybe we look on there to see if there's something maybe taking us closer and not that the deadheads that much i think it's like 300 and some miles oh was it that maybe much it was even that maybe 280 from our pickup to our, yeah, our drop off to where we're yeah, picking I think it was up like 250 so. something yeah so that we were just looking to see. We looked, you yeah. know, you never know. It's always possible, but yeah, no go on that. Yeah. So, so we're, we're, yeah, just gonna chill. Yeah. yeah. We were looking to go see Mount, Mount St. Helens. St. Helens because that's right down uh, the way here. But I think that like all the smoke up this way is just way too bad to be able to see it. Yeah, I don't know. Um, unless we like actually drove up to like the observatory which they do have an observatory up that way uh we could possibly at least go see the observatory and get closer to the mountain to be able to see it but outside of that i don't think we'll be able to see it from like the the visitor center area uh, no no yeah you'd yeah. have to drive up to yeah we we'll definitely have to drive up to it so yeah. i don't know we're gonna see what happens we're gonna leave this rest area start heading south see what we get into the next few days see what we get into like I, I just wanted to get an RV park and relax yeah there's a KOA close by where we're picking up but I think I might have already said that I looked and I just looked again and they're, and they're booked, booked, booked but, but it's a small, it's a small one small it only looks like one, it has yeah. like 10 15 spots yeah so but I don't there's know. a bunch of RV parks up this way I'm sure oh, we could yeah. find something yeah we'll see we'll see we'll see what happens so we're gonna end this vlog here and you'll yeah. have to stay tuned to see yeah kind of fun stuff we get into or if we're just lazy all weekend <laughs> <laughs> all right, we'll, all right. well thank you guys as always for watching and subscribing and until our next video peace love and expediting